Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to do something a little bit different. Generally I when I work on videos I write the code as I go. In this video I have the code already written because I want to spend more time talking about what this code does and how you can actually go about doing it. First off all I have done is I put a button in here. A macro is already assigned so if I was to click it a macro is going to execute. But I'm going to go on and go to assign macro and I have this macro already set up to it. I'm going to hit edit. And let me show you what this does, because in this video I'm going to talk about how to automate entering data into an Internet Explorer web page field. So like in this case an edit box field or a text box field. I'm going to use the example of bestbuy.com. Now in previous videos I have showed how to create the object Internet Explorer application. If you are not familiar with setting up this object, I would recommend looking at one of those videos, either the web browser control video or the Internet Explorer application video. But let me briefly explain what this does because I am doing a little bit more than just creating the Internet Explorer application object. I'm setting some properties and I did not mention this in previous videos. So first off, this is going to open an Internet Explorer window. It's going to put the window on the top zero left zero so it's going to be in the top left corner of the screen I set the width to 800 and the height to 600 I put the address bar set to zero so the address bar will not show up it won't be visible there won't be a status bar and there won't be a toolbar once all these properties are set I have the window show up to being true uh, vis visibility true that way the window actually finally shows up so first off I'm just gonna run this code I'm gonna hit exit sub right here that way it doesn't go past this line I'm gonna hit play and here we're going to have the window come up and as you can see it's blank that's because we have not gone through the navigation okay so let's go on and go ahead and do this and I'll explain to you what I've done Internet Explorer dot navigate and then to the Best Buy uh, website and let me show you what we're going to do now you want to be careful when you're when you're using something like this many websites will detect that you're using some kind of automated program to enter in data so you really want to use caution when using this and make sure you're not doing anything illegal this is something I like to do to log in create some kind of like automated process to log into my bank account or my my gmail or a website that I manage but of course a file like this because it may it's gonna have your credentials in it you wanna have the file locked let me show you what this does because you may want to do something like this where you automate the Internet Explorer to enter in data. In this case we're going to navigate to bestbuy.com and we're going to type in Bose Radio and we're going to click the OK button and I'll explain to you what we're doing right here and how I got this information. So I'm going to close this out and I'm going to click open web browser which is where I have the macro assigned and look at the screen and check out what happens here. Typed in Bose Radio and there you have it so just so you can show I, just so I can show you let me just type it in manually Bose radio enter same exact thing you know comes up so let me explain to you how I did this and how I was able to enter in the data first what you're gonna wanna do is look at the source code of the Best Buy website you know with any browser you can usually either right click it and do view source now, I have already put the data into a notepad notepad plus plus and that way I can show you the way I was able to quickly identify what the name of this text box was is doing this I searched in the source code for a search by keyword SKU or item number so let me show you how that's gonna work so I'm here I'm gonna do a uh, find and search by. I'm going to look for search by. And right here, this is where we see the text box. Input type equals text. The name of the element is ST. The ID is ST. It can have a max length of 90 characters long. And this is the current value. So the very first thing that we're going to do is look for this element by its ID and we're going to want to change its value. I'm going to go to our our Visual Basic environment and I actually put this message box here, the dishes are done dude. So let's look at the source code. 
So we navigate to bestbuy.com. We create a do loop. All this is is repeating, it's looping until the internet window has a ready state of four, which is ready state underscore complete. I actually set up page source is equal to the document dot body dot outer HTML. We actually don't need this for this example, so I'm actually going to eliminate that. You don't need that in what we're doing here. All we're doing is we're looking at the internet window, we're looking at the document, getting element by ID ST. So I'm gonna go back to our to the source code of the page. I'm gonna toggle back over here. The ID for this field, which is the text box field, is ST. So we're getting the getting the element by ID ST, and then we're gonna assign value. So dot value equals, and here we typed in Bose Radio. The next line is getting the object of the internet window document get element by ID SB. SB is the button. And I'll show you how I found that. The very next line says button type equals submit ID is SB. And all of this right here is all of the form source code. So I mean this all works together and this is what we're we're modifying. We're modifying specifically this field this element right here, the text element and we're clicking the the submit button by its ID but we get the get element by ID SB and we do dot click after we hit click then we do one more loop this is just pretty much waiting until the web page again fully loads and then a message box comes up saying the dishes are done now if you know that that line that came out and I believe it's don't tell mom the babysitter said. I believe that's the name of the movie. I don't quote me on it, but great flick. But I mean that is uh, definitely one way to automate a, you know a process. And that concludes this video. Thank you for watching.